Hello, welcome to A Literary Life and welcome to today's video, which is a book review of the novel 4321 by Paul Auster. First of all, if you're not familiar with my reviews, they are spoiler free. I give every book one to five stars and I'm going to tell you right out the gate, guys, this is another five star read. I feel like I've had a few of them back to back now. This one is just an absolutely brilliant novel. It is a hefty book. I'm going to give you the overview of it and kind of explain my rating, why five stars here in a moment. As always, down below are links if you want to purchase this book. I am going to list this book on my Mercari. I was so on the fence, but I'm like, you know what? Just, just do it. Just do it. There are so many books to read, but this book is awesome. I do have a black dot on it. <laughs> I got it on Claret, so it is out there and available, and I highly recommend it if you're ready to take on a thick book. Okay, so what is this book about? Our main character is a boy in the, by the name of Isaac. He is born into a Jewish family in, I think it's 1947, in a city of New Jersey. And we are going to essentially meet Isaac from the point of his birth, and we're going to learn a little bit about him up to a key moment. And I'm going to call this key moment an anchoring moment in his childhood. His father has started up his own store. We're going to learn a little bit about both of his parents' backgrounds in the beginning and how they met, got married, fell in love, got married. We'll, we'll hear all that history. But the anchoring moment of this book is going to be when his father makes a critical decision related to the fact that he has started this company, he has brought in a couple of brothers, his brothers are less than trustworthy, and how the father reacts to the brother situation will fracture the story into four parallel lives of Isaac. So we are going to see how each different life unfolds. Now, I started a tracker because as I was reading this book, there are a lot of matched elements between the lives or points like where did they live, where things diverged. And just to kind of keep, is it life one? Is it life two? Is it life three or four straight in my head? I needed a tracker. So I actually took that and put it into both an Excel and a Word doc. And I will link to that below. For those of you that do decide to tackle this book, I highly recommend you do some kind of tracking. I got so much more out of the book because as I shifted back into life two, for example, I could quickly look back at my uh, life two notes and remind myself, oh yeah, it was this one because they will run together. <laughs> um, so again, links below to those documents. You can download them. I am eventually going to get them. I'm working on a website, guys, that'll have like a ton of reading aids and stuff like that I'm working on. So it'll eventually get moved there. Okay, so lives diverge. We're going to see things like how Isaac experiences his parents that will vary based on the different decisions his parents make in each life. We're going to see their financial success, their happiness levels vary. We're going to see people that pop up in life after life, but in different ways. Isaac will have a different relationship with them, some key people as well. Um, we're going to see his personality evolve slightly differently in each life. We're going to see his physical health evolve slightly differently in each life. It is so amazingly cool to see the ways in which things overlapped between the lives and the ways in which they diverged. I absolutely, you guys, I keep saying I love this book. Going through it, there were points, I'm going to warn you, where it does get a little wordy and long. So just kind of hang in there, bear through those, because it is truly, for me, the ending of this book where I was blown away and I'm like, five stars. This is a five-star read. I want to read it again maybe in like five years when I kind of remember some of it. It is just a beautiful way to conceptualize all the, again, all the choices, similar to another review I just did, how all of the little choices and the big choices that we make can create all of these fractures of where our life can lead and the type of some people we can become. Such, such a fun book. Absolutely. This, I think, maybe, maybe one of my top 10 favorite books. I don't know. I feel anxious about ever committing, but this is definitely up there. Um, if people ever say to me, I really want to read one of those alt reality parallel lives books, this is the one that's going to come to my mind. So that is it. If you've read this book, as always, let me know below what you thought. Or if you choose to read this book, let me know. I would love to hear um, what you think once you do. And then this big hefty bad boy heading over to my Macari shop now. Um, other than that, thank you as always. 
Let's go read some books. Don't forget about those trackers down below if you decide to tackle it. Happy reading.